Welcome to another episode of Let's Not Play. Um, today we won't be playing Mass Effect 4 or Mass Effect Online or Mass Effect Origins or Mass Effect Garrus Side Story or, or whatever the fuck they're going to call the next one. You know there's going to be a next one, you just know it. And I just recorded a whole video on this and I scrapped it. I'm going to redo it because I didn't like the way it came out. Now, I never played uh, Mass Effect 3. I played very little of it. And I played some of Mass Effect 1. I played all of Mass Effect 2. And I think that's how most people were. Um, these games have always been kind of primarily about fucking aliens. There's some space adventure. And, and the entire climax. Like, the, you're okay, here comes the climax. It's time to about, you know, go to war. Um, then, then you have a chance to fuck an alien. And, uh, you know, everyone knows what was wrong with Mass Effect 3, so I don't feel like going into it it's stupid to restate that, though. I had problems with Mass Effect 1 and Mass Effect 2. And, you know, uh, combat was never good in these games. Mass Effect 1, because it was weird, like weird, uh, oh, first person live combat with a bunch of dice rolls thrown in. Uh, Mass Effect 2 was somehow a shining example by just being as generic and inoffensive as cover-based shooting could be. And that's that's great. Apparently everyone loved it. I mean, I liked Mass Effect 2, but I, I still have problems with it. Most choices in the games are just binary. You're Renegade or you're Paragon, and that, that's it. And my real issue is that they use the same NPC system we've had since KOTOR. You have your fucking ship slash camp full of your NPCs and you run around the galaxy and you do things and the NPCs are like, grr, I hate that, or grr, I love that. And then they they slob your knob based on uh, based on if you pandered to them enough or not. And, you know, there, there actually are... Um, now, this is ancient Bioware gaming, as you can tell. There are non-sexable RP um, NPCs in Mass Effect. Now, Mass Effect 2 kind of went back on that, where you could, like, fuck the reptile guy. You could fuck this, fuck that. You know, I'm surprised they didn't let you bang the Krogan. Uh, but, you know, there were unsexable NPCs, and the whole thing with them is like, well, you learned more about them in their past, and then you got sort of a mission quest thing where you decided to betray them or help them out in a special way. Um, it's the same shitty bad good system they've had forever. It, n it never was really compelling. A paragon is kind of a goody two shoes, and a renegade is kind of an asshole. They both save the universe in the same exact way. Um, the dialogue system was never that great. You look at other games' dialogue systems, and it let you have a lot more choices. Um, it felt like in, in Mass Effect games, there was a lot of points where you'd go and you'd say something like, Hey, what's that? And, but there'd be three ways to say what's that, and you get the same reply no matter what. And that, that happened a lot. And, I mean, granted, it didn't happen all the time, but it was very often. Like, you'd say something, then you get a little snippet customized to what you said, a little snippet of a response, and then you'd get the spiel the NPC would have gave anyway. So, it's, so it kind of is like an illusion of choice. And this is just when Bioware was um, falling into their stride with exactly uh, the, the smallest amount of what makes RPG go RPGs good that they wanted to meet out to the consumer. <clears throat> and um, beyond that, I mean, I, I so it, sort of to uh, provide a little more insight here, I, I liked Mass Effect 2, but I didn't like a lot of things about it. Uh, the ending was lame. The setup for the whole story was lame. A lot of the plot points were kind of lame. Um, some quests were boring. They they introduced NPCs. You spent a lot of time finding an NPC um, when you were kind of told, hey, you've got to go rescue the world, but you'd be off trying to, you know, make help this lizard man make peace with the fact that he has pancreatic cancer or something. It just it felt a little weird sometimes. 
then Mass Effect 3 came along, and it kind of had all the same shit these other games have had, even down to the ending, which was was awful. But, you know, the Mass Effect 2 ending wasn't very good. You fought a boss from fucking Contra, and then you decided to blow up a thing or use it, and it didn't matter anyway. Because, like, oh, this, this technology is it's too evil. It was one of those endings, which was lame. And Mass Effect 1, I, I don't even know the ending. I'm sure it was better um, because they cared more at that time, and they obviously have cared less as these games have went on. Um, but but they, I feel like the peop- everyone's issue with Mass Effect 3 was that it was more of the same, and it was sort of a comeuppance for, for Bioware had done all this stuff and, and gotten a pass for so long, and people really, like... It, like people really just dropped one in their pants in response to Mass Effect 3. The response was overwhelming. People were really pissed off. Um, but then you look back at Mass Effect 2 and it had the same kind of fucking ending. So I, I don't feel that Mass Effect 3 really was the problem. It was more emblematic of a problem. And that's why you're probably going to have the same problem with Mass Effect 4 because you think this is an issue with the game, when in fact it's an issue with the developer, and it's an issue with the attitudes of the developer, and to a point, their respect of you, and they they are, you know, they're not making a sexy alien game because they think you have a lot of taste or brains. They're making a sexy alien game because they're trying to appeal to low points in you. And then they put in some good things because they're trying to appeal to high points in you. But, you know, don't get it wrong. It's going to be more of the same shit come Mass Effect 4. And I'm sort of regretting throwing out the original recording. But that's life. It's full of regrets. So have one less and don't buy Mass Effect 4 don't even play it i don't care if someone's steam gifts you the thing just don't play it don't let them get to you go play um gene forge you know go play a fucking visual novel that's effectively what mass effect is i mean chaos head almost has the same trigger system as mass effect 2 but but chaos head is more enjoyable and you don't have sex right so so it must be more of a mature game right probably you know go go play anything else go play fucking jacks go play uh tic-tac-toe don't play mass effect 4 thank you and goodbye